Hey everybody, welcome to your beautiful table. Today we're gonna to talk about trimming your candle wick, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. If you're new to the channel, I'm really glad that you're here. Your Beautiful Table is a website and a YouTube channel all about how to help make your tables beautiful. We talk about candles, home fragrance, tabletops, tablescapes, china, linens, glassware, all kinds of fun things like that. But today we're gonna to talk about how to best trim a candle wick. So I have this Lafco candle and it's called Champagne. It's a really beautiful candle. It comes in this hand poured or hand blown glass votive and it has a little um, uh, glass uh, black stripe around the top. It reminds me of a tuxedo, which is great for New Year's and that's why I'm burning the candle. I wanna bring to you a review of this candle for New Year. But as you can see, the top of the candle wick needs to be trimmed. It has made those carbon balls or a mushroom top, some people call it, on top of the wick, and this can cause some problems. And so let's talk a little bit about why that happened. So the candle wick itself is often braided, and so I'm gonna use my fingers here to make a mesh, and it's braided, and as the candle burns, it opens up like this and folds back on itself. And over time, those can, that carbon forms those tops like that. Eventually it's self-consuming, the flame burns itself, but if you blow it out mid-process, it can leave some of that litter on top. Now, one of the reasons why it's important to trim this wick is because it will make a very large flame if you were to light the candle and not trim those carbonized um, bits off, they make extra flames that are really not great. And so I'm not going to take a risk here and show you bad behavior in terms of lighting this. I mean, you can light it, but the, the flame gets really high, creates a lot of smoke. It gets into your house and can put soot on the candle. It can put soot in the room. And so one of the reasons why you want to trim your candle wick is good candle performance and to keep the smoke and soot off your candle and out of your house. And so what you wanna do is to be sure that you trim the candle according to the manufacturer's recommendations. And so many of them suggest to trim the wick to a quarter of an inch uh, in height from the um, where the wax is on the candle. So I'm gonna tip this over again. You can see those carbon balls there. You can use handy dandy scissors to cut the uh, carbon balls off, or you can use a candle trimmer or a candle wick trimmer. And so the candle wick trimmer is really cool. It can reach down into jar candles. It's sort of like scissors and it, uh, you reach down and this part, let me see, creates this sort of scissor motion that's there and it can hold the litter from the candle wick. It will hold those carbonized little things and trim off the wick at the, at the right height. Some people recommend that you tilt the candle wick trimmer about 45 degrees and cut the wick on an angle. Um, so you place it down into the uh, votive or the candle jar, turn it a little bit and then trim. Now this one hasn't gotten too deep and so I could probably trim it with the scissors I could also, you know, if you have fingernails, you can also snip it with your fingernails, but I found like in a pinch, ha ha, get it. Um, but I found that it gets soot and um, waxy goop on your fingers or in your fingernail and then you're just creating more mess. And so uh, I'm gonna hopefully get this into the view. What I'm going to do is just get underneath that, I have to do it with my mouth open. So get underneath there, raise up a little bit and then trim, and you can see I've trimmed the wick, but some of that carbon ball fell off, and so I'm gonna put this, some of it was in my hand, and it just lays in my hand like that, so it won't get the waxy stuff on my hand. And then the rest is there, but it will just come right out and now the candle is all nice and clean. You can see that the wick is about a quarter of an inch in height, and I've got the leftover candle stuff here in my hand. I'm gonna take this and just put it in the trash can, and then we'll come back and light the candle. So I'm back, I've trimmed the wick. It's nice and short, it's a perfect height. Now I'm gonna use my um, refillable 
lighter to reach in there and just light the candle and you can see no large flame, no soot or smoke, and it's burning at a perfect height. This Life Code candle is a beautifully fragrant citrus um, blend and I'll be bringing you a review of it soon. So if you like candle reviews, consider subscribing. We'll be bringing you um, both this tuxedo, tuxedo, this champagne candle review and others. Also, we have a newsletter and that newsletter is the way that I do uh, giveaways. So be sure to sign up for the newsletter below. Thanks everybody and we'll see you next time.